Today we're taking a look at Boundary, the smart alarm security system that anyone can install. So today we're taking a look at a new smart security system from Boundary that not only brings smart control to your security system, but it also delivers a wire-free installation. Before we get started though, like the video if you need an alarm system and let me know in the comments who likes the sound of an easy install alarm. And if you haven't already, then hit subscribe now so you don't miss a thing in the future. So full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Boundary and they've sent me the alarm system for free to showcase to you guys. But first things first, when it comes to the Boundary system, you have to choose your alarm. They've got lots of bundles already on their website that you can pick from, or you can use their online configuration tool that's going to ask questions about your home and give you the best package to suit. So once you've placed your order, you're going to get the products in this neatly packaged delivery. And of course, the sensors inside are going to depend on your order. If we open up the box, I first got the alarm hub. Now this is of course the main control panel that communicates with all of the sensors in your home. It's powered by USB Type-C and it's also got a built-in battery that can keep power on for 12 hours should you ever lose mains power. Now the hub is of course where you're going to arm and disarm the alarm system by either entering your pin, using one of their key fobs or you can even do it with your phone. Now the hub comes with fixings to mount to the wall or they've also got a separate stand that can be purchased if you prefer this over a wall mount. Next in the packaging, I've got the sensors and the fobs. Now, of course, this is going to depend on your needs, but I've opted for two motion sensors along with five contact sensors. The motion sensors will detect movement in a room, whereas the contact sensors will tell you when a door or window has been opened or it's shut. I've got two main rooms downstairs along with four external doors, so this is why I've made this decision. The fifth contact sensor is actually for my garage, and this is separate to my house and currently very unsecure. We've also got two fobs in the package, and as you can see, they're nice modern looking fobs, and you can just attach them to your keyring, and then you can just hold these against the hub to disarm it instead of using a pin number. Finally, we've got the outdoor siren, a nice modern looking completely wireless siren that not only acts as a deterrent on the front of your house, but it of course makes a loud siren noise should the alarm be triggered. With the unboxing out the way, it's time to install the system and I was very pleased with just how easy this is to do. The kit comes with a quick start guide that gives you simple instructions on how to install the system. We've also got the app that's full of instructional videos, but to be honest, it's pretty simple and I don't think anyone is going to have any difficulty difficulty setting this up. The system is very user friendly and every sensor comes with command strips to stick them in place or you also get screws and plugs for those that want a more permanent install. For anyone that is worried about installing the alarm system themselves, they do offer an installation from a certified installer and this is for £199. But step one of the install is to download the Boundary application to your smartphone and set up the hub. The app can be found on the App Store as well as the Play Store and they also provide a QR code that you can simply scan to download the app. Once the hub is plugged in, we just need to set it up and connect it to our home Wi-Fi by entering our Wi-Fi password. The hub connects via Wi-Fi to provide all the smart functions we need for our alarm system, but for all the sensors, it uses Z-Wave technology. Z-Wave is much more suitable for smart home technology as it allows devices to talk to each other and continually monitor statuses. It uses a lot less power than Wi-Fi and it's got a much bigger range than Bluetooth. On the app side of things, we just need to register an account and then set up our home by adding the rooms that we want protecting. And you can call these rooms whatever you want them to be called on the system. And you can even choose the image that goes next to them. Now, once we've got the room set up, it's time to start adding the sensors. If we start with the contact sensor, we simply use a flathead screwdriver to remove the back panel. This then reveals a QR code and we can scan this in the app. Once we've scanned it in the app, it advises us to pull out the battery tab from the sensor and the sensor is now pairing with the hub. Now once this is complete, we can go ahead and mount the sensor, but don't be mounting these before they've paired. With the contact sensor, it's also advised that you have the largest part of the sensor on the stationary side of the door and then the smaller sensor on the door. If this isn't possible, then you can swap them around, it's just the recommended way of doing it. 
The sensors, of course, do need to be in line with a maximum gap of 25 millimeters between the two. You can also tell if they are close enough by the blue light that flashes when they come back together or they're taken apart. So this is an easy way to check if your positioning works. As I said, when it comes to installation, the contact sensors have screw holes that you can screw into your door, or they also come with adhesive strips that I've used here. Now it's the same installation with the motion sensor and we just pop the back off, scan the QR code with the app and then remove the battery tab from the sensor. Once the motion sensor is paired, we can then put it up in place. Now again, we can either fix it to the wall with the screws or use the adhesive strips provided and the only rule with the motion sensor is to leave a 2cm gap between the top of the sensor and the ceiling. I've already got mounting spots for motion sensors in my home so I've decided to cover this up with the boundary sensor. Overall, I'm very impressed with these sensors. They're compact, modern looking sensors, they're built well, and they're incredibly easy to install. Once all the sensors are installed around the home, we can pair the siren. As with the other sensors, we open up the back, scan the QR code on the app, and then we can remove the battery tab for them to pair. I really like the outdoor siren as it is modern looking, it's well built, and it's got a well thought out design. It simply installs with three screw holes into the outside wall. There's a spirit level on the top and the case also has a clip that keeps it open while you're outside doing the install. While the top screw is fixed, the bottom two have spinning screw holes and this means you can make slight adjustments and make sure you get all the screws into the brickwork for a secure install. It was easy to mount to the wall and really it should be mounted higher and as visible as possible, but my girlfriend wanted it here, so that was that. So now I've got everything installed, I can go ahead and use the system. And this is much more than just a standard security system. For a start, if I open it up, you can now see I've got the temperature in every room as all of the sensors have built-in thermometers. The app also gives you an overview of all of the sensors. It tells you if doors are secured or open and if motion sensors are detecting any movement. It will even tell you if there are any issues with the sensors so you don't have to worry about anything not working. Now with contact sensors, you can choose whether they're an entry or exit route. So if you come in via that way, you get 45 seconds to disarm the alarm. Or you can have it so as soon as you open that door when the alarm is armed, then the siren will go off. For all of my external doors to the house, I do have the 45 second timer before the alarm. And this is because I can quite often come in from different entrances. When it comes to the garage, I've got the door set. So as soon as you open the door, if the alarm is armed, then the siren is going to go off. And we've also got options for pet sensitivity mode and this is for people that have pets. It will stop your pets setting off motion sensors while you're out and about. When it comes to using the alarm, it can be armed via the hub. You can press arm on the display or you can press your key fob against the hub. We can arm it using the mobile application. And we can even arm it with Google Home or Alexa. Having a smart alarm makes things so much easier and reliable as if I go out and forget to arm it, I can simply check on the mobile app and then arm it if required. The geofencing mode is also going to tell me if I go 100 meters away from my house and I haven't armed the system. Now we can also set different modes such as night modes or at home modes and choose if sensors are going to trigger alarms or just give me notifications. One of my favorite features about the smart alarm is that if I was broken into while I was out, not only is the siren going to alert all my neighbors but I'm going to get a notification straight away on my phone which means I can act as quickly as possible and get home as soon as I can. Another great aspect on the smart side of things is that you can also use it to monitor. If you've got kids that you need to make sure are out of bed or even an elderly relative that you'd be worried about if there wasn't any activity then you can simply set activity alerts in the apps and this will tell you everything. If you have a cleaner, friends or family that also need access to your home, you can also grant them access using the app. Because it can work with Google Home and Alexa, we've pretty much got infinite possibilities using if this and that, and you can create your own personal routines that can automate the alarm system to your requirements. Now overall, it's a very impressive system. It allows for people to do their own DIY installs and it's got a lot more functionality than a normal alarm system. It was easier to install than I anticipated and overall, it's just been an incredible system. Now for those interested, I've placed a link to Boundary's website down in the description below and using this link, you'll actually get 45% off the standard price. So head over now and take a look at the pre-made bundles or use the configurator to make a custom 
custom design for your home and get your home protected in no time. Now hopefully I've covered everything in this video but if there is anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all then just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.